Great film, no? It won four Academy Awards for Olivia de Havilland as Best Actress, for its costume designs, for its art direction, and its music score by Aaron Copeland. It was nominated in four other categories as well, and it actually was Olivia who put the wheels into motion to have this movie made. She'd run into director Lewis Milestone at a party in Hollywood, and he said to her, I've just seen this magnificent play in New York, and you should really go there and check it out. There's a wonderful role in it for you to do in a film version. Well, Olivia immediately caught a train to New York, saw the play, and at the first intermission, she was on the phone to her agent in Hollywood, and she said to him, we have to do this as a movie. And the superb motion picture was the result of that phone call. Up next, we have the film that won the Best Picture Oscar over the heiress for the year 1949. It's a political drama written and directed by Robert Rawson that stars Broderick Crawford, Joanne Drew, John Ireland, and John Derrick. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, our evening of 1949's Best Picture nominees plays politics, next with All the King's Men. Then Gregory Peck doesn't believe in hard luck in 12 o'clock high. And One Marriage's Fate is signed, sealed, and delivered in A Letter to Three Wives. Experience New 